Hello, and welcome to Clinicaid. In this tutorial video, we'll be showing you how to get started with billing MSP in BC through your very own Clinicaid account. We'll cover starting a free Clinicaid trial, logging into your brand new account, setting up provider details, and connecting your account to MSP's teleplan system. We'll also show you how to add patients to your account and how to create and send your first invoice. Plus, find out what you can expect once you've submitted your claims to MSP. Let's get started. If you don't already have an account, you can begin a free trial of Clinicaid simply by going to clinicaid.ca, filling in your information on the signup page, and waiting for the email with your login details that will be sent to you shortly. To log into your brand new Clinicaid account, open up a Firefox or Chrome browser window. We recommend using Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome to ensure the best Clinicaid experience. Go to clinicaid.ca, click on the login button, and enter the login and password details you received via email. Once you've logged in, you will see your dashboard. It should look just like our demo account, which is what we're currently logged into here. The first step in getting your account set up is to add a provider. This can either be yourself as the physician or medical care provider, or it can be a provider that you're going to complete the billing for if you're a billing agent in BC. In order to add a provider, you'll need to click on the admin section in the left-hand menu. Under this section, click on providers to reach this screen. Click on the green add provider button and complete the fields listed to create your first provider record. You'll need to fill out the provider's first and last name. Also complete the provider's billing number as it's registered with MSP. Next is the payee number. Standalone physicians that have their own practice will most likely use the same number for both the provider billing number and payee number fields. Some providers, such as walk-in clinic physicians, may be using a group number to complete their billing. In this case, fill in the group number in the payee number field. If you're unsure of what your payee number is, you can always call Teleplan to ask. The Rural Retention Code is not applicable for most providers. If you're a service provider in major cities like Vancouver, Victoria, Kelowna, Prince George and the like, this section won't apply to you. Either leave the field blank or select Not Applicable from the drop-down menu. However, if you're doing billing in a rural area, you're required to complete the Rural Retention Code in order to receive the appropriate added percentage on your qualifying bills. You can type the name of your rural area to search the list, or just select from the drop-down menu. Under Service Location, you'll specify where the services are taking place. Many practitioners will select Practitioner's Office in Community, but for hospital billing, you'll need to select the appropriate location to match the billing you'll be doing. Once you've completed the applicable fields for your provider, click the Create Provider button to save the provider's record into your account. You can go back and edit the provider record at any time by clicking the provider's name and selecting Edit, or by clicking the blue pencil icon on the right-hand side of the screen. You can add more providers to the account by repeating the same process. Now that you've got a provider record saved, let's move on to connecting your Clinicaid account directly to MSP's electronic submission system called Teleplan. For this, you'll need to complete your data center number and user information in the Manage Teleplan section that's also found under Admin on the left-hand menu. If you don't yet have a data center number, you can apply to receive one by filling out an application for Teleplan service. This can be done using the HLTH2820 form found online via the BC government's website. The form looks like this. Once you've completed it with your information, you can fax it into Teleplan via the number on the bottom of the form. We recommend applying for your own data center number. This will give you much more control over your data and provides an added layer of flexibility so that you can request your data directly from Teleplan without needing to go through our support reps first. Please feel free to contact Teleplan for additional information about data center numbers, how they work, and how to apply for one. The contact information for Teleplan can be found online. A Google search for Teleplan should give you the Medical Services Plan Teleplan web access page as a top result. 
Clicking on that will take you to the Teleplan login page, which has a Contact Us link in the bottom right corner. There you'll find the telephone numbers for both Vancouver and the rest of BC. Follow the recorded instructions to be connected to a Teleplan support representative. If you've already got your data center information, you can enter it in the Manage Teleplan section found under Admin in the left-hand menu. Fill out the fields on the Manage Teleplan page with your data center number, your username, which should be TTUT plus the number of your data center, and your password. Hit the blue Save Details button to connect your Clinicate account to Teleplan. It's important to note that your payee number must be attached to the data center number you're using in order for Teleplan to process your claims properly. This detail is especially crucial in multi-provider clinics that work with multiple payee numbers, multiple data center numbers, or group billing numbers. Now that your account is connected directly to Teleplan, it's time to start creating invoices. In order to create an invoice, you'll need to have patient records in your Clinicate account. There are a few ways to add patients. If you had a previous billing system before using Clinicaid, it's possible that we can do a demographic import of your patient records. Contact one of our support reps for more details about this option to find out whether it works for you. The second option is to add patients via the Manage Patients section in the left-hand menu. Click the Add a Patient button near the top left corner of the screen to create a new patient record. This will open up the complete Add Patient screen, which you can fill out with the patient's information. Clicking the Quick Patient option will give you a shortened version of this form. The third option is to create a new patient record as you're creating the invoice. Click on the Create Invoice section in the left-hand menu to reach the invoice creation screen. Your cursor will automatically populate in the patient field on the right-hand side of the screen. You can search for a patient that is already in your system by name or personal health number. Or you can create a new patient record from here by clicking on the little plus sign. This will open up the short form to add a new patient, allowing you to enter the patient's details and save them to your patient records as part of the invoice creation process. Once you've completed the patient's details, hit the Create Patient button to save the patient. You'll be able to add more info or edit the patient's details back in the Manage Patients section. To begin creating your first invoice, search for, select, or create a new patient. Clinicaid has a built-in check to see if a patient is eligible for MSP billing. The little person icon will change color once you've selected a patient to show you what their status is. Red means they are ineligible for billing, green means they are eligible, and white means the check was not performed. You can hover over the icon to give you additional information about this check. Next, you'll need to select the appropriate provider for this bill. Then you can begin adding line items to your invoice. To add a line item, begin typing the code number or word in the field. Our handy lookup tables will populate to help you narrow down your search if you don't quite remember which code you need. The same functionality is available for the diagnostic code. Simply type the number or word to search through the lookup table. Your account, like this demo account, will not show any favorites codes that have been pre-saved for easy access. You can add codes via the Preferences section once you're ready to. Please feel free to look at our other video tutorials to show you how to do this and much more. Once you've entered the service and diagnostic codes, enter the correct service date and click on the Add button to add the line item to the invoice. If there are additional service codes to add to this bill, simply repeat the process. If you're done with the bill, you can hit the Save button to save it to this patient. You should see a green message on the right-hand side of the screen confirming that the invoice has saved. You may see a red message instead if your invoice is missing critical information or another error has occurred. Previous invoices will appear on the bottom right-hand side of the screen once you've saved more invoices to this particular patient's records. You can also hit the green Send Now button to send the bill immediately, but we recommend saving your bills and sending them out in a batch so you have one more chance to review them before submitting. You can continue adding patients and creating invoices in this way until you've completed all of your billing. In order to send your saved invoices, go to the Manage Invoices section in the left-hand menu. 
This is where you can review all of your invoices. Here you'll see a list of the invoices you haven't submitted yet. You can view and make edits to invoices before sending them via these buttons, or you can use the filters to look for particular invoices that you've already submitted. You're able to send individual invoices by clicking on the green arrow button, which will give you a pop-up confirmation window before the invoice sends. You can also send a batch of invoices at once by selecting the top checkbox under the New tab. This will select all of the invoices visible on the page and a green Send button will appear, allowing you to send all of these invoices at once. Now that you've submitted some invoices, here's what you can expect. MSP will begin processing them, and simple rejections, such as those with incorrect PHNs, will be returned within a few days. These will appear in your Invoices Requiring Action section on your dashboard, as well as in the Manage Invoices section under the Requires Action tab. You'll need to edit and resubmit these invoices with the correct details in order for them to be processed again. Once your remittance is sent out, all of your invoices will automatically update directly in Clinicaid. Accepted invoices will appear in the Settle tab of your Manage Invoices section. Any invoices that have been held will show up in your Held tab. BCMSP cutoff dates are twice a month, once at the beginning of the month and once towards the middle of the month. And your remittance will be posted a week to 10 days later. Payments are on the 15th and on the last day of the month. If you have any questions or need additional help, please consult our customer support portal, which you can find via the handy link on your dashboard and on the left-hand menu. There, you'll find our other tutorial videos, as well as some written guides to help you familiarize yourself with your new Clinicate account. You can always contact us as well, and one of our support reps will be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching and happy billing.